Thank you, Chairman Tenenbaum. It's such an honor to be here uh, for my second year with the CPSC's Pool Safely campaign. Um, I'm honored that it's here in my backyard in Southern California where I learned how to swim so many years ago. And this is something, Pool Safely, Pool Safety, I am so passionate about. You know, I learned how to swim uh, when I was 17 months old because my mother does not know how to swim. And she still doesn't know how to swim. And my father says it's swimming something you do when you fall off a boat. So they moved to California. We had a pool in our backyard. They put us in the pool. Um, and I learned how to swim, like I said, at 17 months. I never thought that much about water safety because I knew how to swim. I went to the Olympics. I won medals. Everything was great. And then I decided to get married and have children. And when I was pregnant with my little girl who is now four and a half, Johnny Johnson, who is here with the NDPA, um, who is their teacher, approached me and said, you need to get your children, your child, your unborn child in the water as soon as possible. And I couldn't believe it, you know, I was still pregnant. And uh, he convinced me to put her in at five months. And she's now four and a half and she is a good swimmer. I made the mistake though, a few weeks ago of saying to Johnny, um, she's pool safe, right? And Johnny said, Janet, she is not pool safe. In fact, Janet, you are not pool safe. And I said, what do you mean? I have four gold medals. I'm pool safe. He said, no one is pool safe ever. And I think that's the message that the CPSC and the Pool Safely campaign is trying to impart to everyone out there, particularly in these states like California, like Chula Vista, Southern California, Florida, Texas, Arizona, where drowning rates are really high. No one is ever safe. Now my kids, I have a one-year-old now as well, who is a boy, he is going in one direction, my daughter is going the other direction, I am a crazed parent. I am trying to keep an eye on my children. I take them to the swimming pool. I have friends at the pool. I might have a cell phone call. I might want to talk to my friends. I have learned never to take my eyes off of my children no matter what is going on. I am vigilant about it. I am so vigilant about it that I just tell all my friends, do not take your eyes off of them. That is one thing we need to impart in this campaign to all people that are around children in a pool. They need to have supervision at all times. There always needs to be eyes on those children in the pool. As a, an adult, you need to know how to swim. One thing that I am still on my mother about, who is, would not let me tell you her age, my mother still does not know how to swim, and she also babysits my grandchildren. I am not very, or her grandchildren, my children, not very happy about that because she never took the time to learn how to swim. Adults need to learn how to swim because when their, chil their children are in the water, they need to learn how to get in there and get them if there's any problems. Other steps that we can take to be safe around the pool, as the chairman mentioned, Mentioned. We need to have fences, four foot tall fences with self locking gates. We need to have layers of protection. We need to keep toys and kickboards and fins off of a pool deck. A child can trip on those toys, they can fall in, they can hit their head. As the chairman mentioned, drowning is silent. It takes two minutes. We don't know it's happening. We also need to keep the pool clear of toys. You know, I know my one year old little boy is the most curious person I've ever met and I can just picture him seeing a, a colorful Buzz Lightyear toy floating in the pool and running out to the pool to try to get that. Um, we need to learn CPR, no CPR. We need to have a phone by the pool in case something does happen so we're not running into the house or the building looking for a telephone. These are all steps we need to take. This is what makes pools safe, is what keeps our children safe, what keeps our families safe, and allows us to have a wonderful time in and around the pool and have a wonderful summer. So these are simple steps that save lives and drowning can be prevented. Remember, uh, learning to swim is a life-saving skill. It's not a sport to get into to keep your kids in the Olympics. I have no doubt that my children will not swim in the Olympics, but they will be good swimmers because that is very important to me. So once again, to Mayor Cox, thank you for having us. This is beautiful pool here today. Chairman Tenenbaum, thank you for allowing me to be once again be a part of the Pool Safely campaign. It's an honor and I want to spread the message Everyone have a wonderful summer and be safe in the water. Thank you.